Hi everybody, we are Mike and Brenda Baker and today we are again in Savannah, Georgia. We are on a little trip um, and if you saw our last video, you'll know why. But in short, we are on a empty nesters tour, if you will, and we are trying to find a different place to live. We live in Montana now and we're done with the cold and the snow. So with that, <laughs> this is our series on empty nesting topics. And so today's topic is titled, Why Don't My Kids Call Me? Okay, so why don't your kids call you? Well, maybe they don't wanna to talk to you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, look, <laughs> let me give you the most obvious answer, all right? Now I will say this before I give that answer. It's easier for men with boys, okay, than it is for the women, the, the moms of boys, all right? And vice versa, it's easier for the moms of daughters, I think, than it is for the fathers of daughters because the fathers of daughters don't understand that whole dynamic. So, number one, they're adults, okay? When's the last time you called your mom and dad? I'll bet it's been a while for a lot of you. No, no you can't say that because- I can. Because well, that's you, how most men can, are. But I can't. So, so my my dad is my dad is dead. Uh, he died in uh, roughly 92, 93, I think, 92. 93. And my mom has disowned me for various mm -hmm. reasons. That if you ever want to know, you can just ask a question <laughs> below, and, and I'd be happy to answer that. Uh, but if you go back several videos, you'll find out why. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so when's the last time I talked to my mom? It was a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, and that was at her request. So, <laughs> and Brenda talks to her mom. And my yes. dad is now her, her dad passed, passed away. But here's the deal. They're adults. They're, uh, and if they're married, they're, they've left and cleaved to their spouses, not you, okay? So when your kids become adults, they take on their own lives. Our youngest, for instance, who's a great kid, he has a job doing what he wanted to do, and he loves what he's doing, and he's got all this freedom now that he didn't have before. And he, he basically, he got married straight out of the house. Okay, <laughs> he went from our house to married in January. And we were perfectly okay with that. But now he's like, he's bought a truck and he's doing all these things and we barely hear from the kid. Now, is it because he doesn't love us? No, it's because he has a life. He's trying to build a life with his wife. He's trying to move forward. And you, and as a dad, especially, I can't expect, I don't expect him to call because he has this newfound life. And as a mom, it's it's been really, really hard for me because I have honestly felt like he just doesn't care. He could care less if I lived or died, he wouldn't even notice. Yeah. And another thing about having boys that's been really, really tough is the fact that they think about their wife's family long before they think about theirs. And so that's been a tough pill to swallow. It is definitely the hardest part of having boys, in my opinion, so far. Um, but there is typically about three years where, when they first get married, two to three years, when they first get married, that they're like, meh, mom and dad, they're fine. Yeah, who? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really hard. So yes, they're adults, but moms, you gotta keep your heartstrings under control or it will control you you'll end up feeling like your your kid never cared about you, blah, 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 blah. I mean, your mind will just roll on and on. It's not gonna help you, especially in your in your marriage. So please understand that when they're, you know, when they're adulting and especially at the very beginning, you're not gonna hear from them very much. You know, something else to remember too is, as we roll into number two, your kids have to learn balance too. It's easy for yeah. you to look at them and see all the time they have to call you. Why? Because you have some semblance of balance and that came to you over the span of their lifetime. Yeah. Okay. You can't expect your kids to be where you are just because they're adults. <laughs> all right. They don't make the same wage. They don't make the same wage you do typically. All right. Right away. They have to work up to it. Right. They, they have to earn their shots just like you did. So remember, yes, they're adults, but they have to learn balance themselves. And you know, Brenda's right, they will tend to spend more time with the other family, but the bonds between moms and daughters are different. Yeah. Okay. Moms and daughters keep in constant contact a lot of times even after even after marriage. I didn't. Yeah, but, but well that was a different situation. Yeah. 
normally they do okay so does it surprise me when they do that no it doesn't surprise me because they are more attached than boys are boys it's like a, okay yeah. you gotta move out and dad's like you're right you gotta move out and and that's just where it goes from there another thing about balance is that your kids you know they don't have you're not used to having the time that you now have free when you're an empty nester yeah. all of a sudden it's like oh nobody needs me nobody sees me nobody notices anything that i need what the heck where did everyone go um you know a couple months ago when my dad was dying i really was feeling this because I felt like my kids were not even noticing that I, may, I might need something. Yeah. Now, I needed support, I needed encouragement, I needed them to you know, message me here and there and say, hey, how can I encourage you today? But let's be honest, they're boys. What was I thinking? I don't know. But I did end up getting my feelings hurt a little bit and I, and I definitely, said a few things that I'm not proud of um, because I got upset and I let that um, dictate how I operated. So not to their wives, but definitely uh, one in particular, um, I, I just really unleashed all craziness on him. And it is what it is. We made, you know, we made up, we figured it out. I apologized and whatever, but just understand Again, as an empty nester, you have more time than you ever had before yeah. since you had kids. And being a blended family, getting married with kids, as many of you probably did, you're gonna feel them not being present a lot more than a lot of the times other parents do. So that brings us to the third one, uh, your kids. They too are independent, yeah. mm. which means they have opinions which means that they don't have to listen to you, yeah. okay? At this stage of the game, you're coaching. What does that mean? What that means is that when they call with questions, you answer and you answer directly and you answer wholeheartedly and you you give them the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Don't hold back because when they're asking, they're listening, okay? With my sons and I, I have what's called a one and done. So <laughs> if we have an issue, if we have a major disagreement, we sit down and I tell them, okay, we can talk about this we're gonna talk about this this one time. I'm gonna tell you exactly how mom and I feel about this or how I feel about this. Yeah. You will have no doubt whatsoever how <laughs> I feel about it when we're done. And then unless you bring it up, we never have to talk about it again. Yeah. All right, why do I do that? Because then it helps the relationship move forward. Okay, they know, but then because I'm able to take the relationship forward, they also know that I love them. They also know that I support them as a person, even if I don't support this particular action. Okay, <clears throat> and, it, and it enables us to it enables us to be completely open, and whether it be yelling, screaming, it doesn't matter. But once that conversation is done, it's done. But just remember, your kids are independent, and when I do that one and done, I'm trying to recognize their independence as a dad. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to recognize their independence as a husband, and then, but at the same time, establish that and listen very carefully to this, establish that we are not equals. Yeah. I'm sorry, my kids may be adults. I have a 30 year old son, all right? And I have a 19 year old son. We are not equal. I will always be dad. <laughs> this is so weird, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. you have anything else? Uh, what was the point again? They're, too They're independent, no. I, I don't have anything. We're good. Uh, all right, so that's it for today. I'm sorry I got distracted. Um, we thank you for being here and we hope that this helped you. This whole series will be on empty nesting and we hope you're enjoying it. So invite your friends. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.